What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Convoy. Last time we took down the Bearded Bunny Raiders, and today we're getting our Sonic Screws, so let's get a move on. Now, we're only 100 kilometers out at this point. We're probably gonna hit a random event in, like, five seconds here. Maybe less. Or not? Oh, there it is. You hear a voice on the radio. You have passed Torvac Checkpoint. We require 30 scrap for the use of our road. The best things in life are free. Several Torvac vehicles approach you. Prepare for annihilation. Ready your weapons. Let's do this. Alright, shield up, rail cannon on, rail gun on him, stun on him, fire on him, fire on him, fire on him, fire on him. Fire on him. Go. Now, mine on him, finish him off, and there we go. That's a kill. I don't like how there's two vehicles over here taking on the Green Lancer. Let's get out of the way of that. Let's go ahead and divert all guns. Uh, could kill him, but... No, I'm just gonna let my guy kill him there. Finish that guy off the mine. It looks like we have something hostile coming up, which is fine, because we're not in it. Alright, we're pretty good here. Not much else we can do. We can move in to, like, all just circle this guy, but I'm just gonna kill him myself very slowly. It's not even that slowly. We're not taking too much damage, so it's fine. There we go. And that's another kill and another victory for my convoy. 13 fuel, 66 scrap, and a 60mm cannon. I'm surprised we haven't gotten the auto cannon yet. Like, honestly. We haven't gotten any auto cannons at all. Let's check this out. The signal is being broadcasted from a decrepit shutter semaphore tower. Its shutters still seem to be switching in a fixed pattern. Investigate. Judging from the equipment inside, you suspect this tower to have been part of a larger number of Murray six shutter optical telegraphs. You haven't seen any other towers, though, making this lone remaining tower all the stranger. Look for loot. After a thorough investigation, you find the tower has been automated to repeat a signal message indefinitely. You're not sure what it means, but the message is GNU Terry Pratchett. It would be possible to take apart the equipment for parts, although you're not sure if you should. Take it apart. After taking apart the equipment, you manage to recover 90 scrap. Not bad. The shutters in the tower stay silent as you return to your convoy. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this. In the distance, you see a hulking building rise up. According to your coordinates, it should be the Sonic Screw Facility. Approach. As you approach the facility, you are being contacted on the radio. Welcome to the Torvac Sonic Screw Production Facility. Please state your business. We were promised Sonic Screws as a reward. Comparing data, knowledge of facility location and boldness of statement, lack of communications regarding this transaction. Please stand by. Wait. We regret to inform you that the probability dictates your statement to be false. Prepare to be annihilated. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck. What the shit? Okay, I shouldn't have done that. Whatever, we'll be fine. Focus on him, focus on him, focus on him, focus on him, go. Did we just miss the fucking railgun? Uh, I shot too early, we missed the railgun. Oh my god, now we're in a lot of trouble. We are in heaps of trouble. I gotta move my main vehicles back here so I can defend the Lancer. We are in so much trouble right now. Okay, move up, start engaging this guy, move into position to stop him from attacking. Do some rams on this one. Here we go. Throw down a mine on this one when it's ready. Here we go. Maybe he's done. Ram this one out of existence, man. There we go. Stun him. Mine him. Shield up. Focus on him. Move over here. And there we go. We won. All the Tormek vehicles protecting the facility have been destroyed. We get 12 fuel, 65 scrap, and light rocket artillery. Artillery, let's search the facility. With no guards left, you easily acquire an ample supply of sonic screws, which you transfer to your MCV. They should prove plentiful for spaceship mercury. Great. Cool. Now we're gonna need a camp. Oh, shit. Oh, it's so slow. No. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. There's a foul stench on the wind. 
let's tarry longer. It turns out you've already tarried for too long as the source of the foul stench becomes evident. Several raiders approach your convoy. They seem to be decorated with bodily remains. Prepare to fight. Fuck. This time don't fire too early. Now. Shut up. Stun him. Fire on him. Fire on him. Fire on him. Fire on him. Go. Fuck, I missed the mine. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Ram that guy a little bit. Back up. Move out of the way. Hurry, hurry, that dumb missile. That damn dumb fire. And that is... I mean, there's only two left, but... They're, yeah, they're still alive, but yeah, we win. Yep, there we go. Nice. This guy is so badly damaged. 14 fuel, 65 scrap. Perhaps the foul stench will soon clear up. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god, it's so slow. Come on, come on. Oh shit, there's no way. If we get another thing, I gotta outrun. Because we're gonna lose a vehicle if we don't. Come on, come on, come on, come on! You son of a bitch. There we go. We're safe. Please fully repair everything. Especially this little guy. Alright, what don't we want? Light rock artillery, 60mm cannon, and the chainsaw. Is this light pulse laser? Uh you don't think I wanna change that. Um yeah, I don't really want this either. <sighs> I wish they'd get new vehicles, that'd be great. So we have a repair drone, takes HP from the MCV and gives it to a target, or we have the leech drone, which takes HP from a target and gives it to the MCV. I'm going to buy that. That sounds nice and sexy. Um, This shield's whatever. I'm not seeing too much of a positive thing come from it. I almost sold it there. I'm actually going to keep it, just in case. Just in case I notice a difference after taking it off. So let's go ahead, let's get back out to that radio signal. We have one part, which is nice. Privateer vehicles on the horizon, get ready to fight. Okay, so now what we can do is you can use these leech drones as another way of dealing damage, which is nice. Okay, we got on the big one. Stun on this one. Shit, they missed the railgun. All right, get a leech drone on him. Get a mine on him. Change fire to him. Sucks that we missed the railgun. We got a kill. There we go. Close to a second one. There we go. Close to a third one, honestly. And a fourth one. Come on, finish him off. And there's the third kill. Let's get a leech drone on this guy. Almost on the fourth. And there it is. Now we have one last guy to deal with, and he's down too. Nicely done. 10 fuel, 53 scrap, and an aid unit. Not bad. Let's keep getting over to that radio beacon, which is right up here, I think. Uh, yeah, there it is again. In the middle of nowhere. You notice a smoking privateer vehicle in the distance. It is emitting an emergency signal. Investigate. As you approach the privateer, you see him look relieved. Hello there, matey. I seem to be down in my luck. I don't suppose you could help me out. I'll make it worth your while. Alright, yeah, repairs vehicle. Thanks a lot. That was the third damn time my vehicle was broken down. I was busy looking for a fabled treasure, you see, using this here treasure map I got. Considering my luck, though, I think it's cursed. Seeing as I owe you a reward, how about you take it off my hands? I really wish... Alright. Hope that map treats you better. Best of luck, matey! Oh, wow. <laughs> really close. You arrive at the location of the supposed privateer treasure. 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 Investigate. You, s you use your sensors and discover that there is indeed something buried beneath the sand. Dig it up. 
What the fuck? Yes! It turns out to be a treasure consisting of a heavy pulse laser, an auto cannon 6mm, and two heavy rocket artillery. Fuck yeah. I really don't need these. Uh, but I. Oh, wait, I want that, definitely. I'm gonna abandon that. And abandon that. Confirm. Yes! Totally putting that cannon on. It seems you've driven straight into a sandstorm. There's severe risk of losing contact with one of your vehicles. Let's wait it out. Eventually the storm passes and you manage to recover contact with one of your vehicles. I don't understand why waiting a storm out costs gas. Wouldn't that, like, not cost gas? Because we're sitting there, but I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, man. You know? It's not my game, so that's fine. We're close to the R998 Rex chip, or whatever, X chip. So that's good. Okay, so you need the heavy gun. My god, that gun's gonna, like, make your vehicle sit stuck in the mud. Uh, you... Now, this one has 9 DPS. This one actually has 13, even though it's a smaller gun, because it's an auto cannon. And the heavy rocket artillery... Don't need that anywhere, so we're good. Okay, yeah. It's just... Well, no, let me get full repairs. Hold on, Jono. Don't be so fast. Might as well repair everyone to full. Gosh. And you're kind of low on fuel here, so buy a bit more. Buy a bit more than that. There we go. 178, that's not bad. And, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, what's going on here? A convoy of vehicles approaches you. The one in the front is sporting a skull and bones flag. Seems like a privateer raiding party. You hear them over the radio exclaiming, Come on and get one in your yarvels. If you have any yarvels, you know, jelly though? What? I don't know what the last one part was. Prepare to fight these clowns, let's do it. I don't know what the last one was, but okay. Alright, so, wait till everyone comes into picture, blow that guy up, stun that guy, open fire on 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 that guy, move over, lead strut on that guy. Oh, yes, we actually hit this time, so we blow him up with a mine, get out of the way. What? Oh, we're stunned! No, 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 don't fire the mine, then! Okay, stop. Almost fired the mine at the wrong spot, but there we go, we switched it at the last second, which is nice. I'm gonna finish that guy off, come on. Come on, finish him off. Another one down. Let's get a mine on him. Another one down. Not bad. Okay, we got something coming up, so let's get out of there. Another one down. Sweet. Get out of the way of that. Good. Focus on this guy up front. Get a leech drone on him. Stun him out. Get a mine on him. And he's down to nicely done. 10 fuel, 62 scrap, not bad. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's get over to get these chips or this chip, whatever. Oh, uh, shit. This is not good. Ooh, I like that, though. Let's check it out. The signal appears to be coming from a lone privateer vehicle. It seems to have noticed your convoy, starts its engine, and attempts to race off. Chase it. The lone privateer is a lot faster than your convoy and manages to escape. Yeah. Oh, another... Well, we'll go to that one later. Whilst driving through the desert, a gust of wind uncovers a heavy railgun buried in the sand. Of course I'll take that. Hell yeah. And here we are at the chip. Let's see what we got here. Judging from the tracks of destruction left in the wake of numerous vehicles, you can only assume you are near James Fay's Warband. The only upside to the Warband is that it moves quite slowly, giving you ample time to catch up. If you have more preparations to do now, now is the time. We're ready, let's do this. You pursue the Warband and it doesn't take long for the first vehicle to detach and attack your convoy. Let's rock! Alright guys, formations. We got a big fight on our hands here. Let's give a railgun to him. Fire on him, fire on him, fire on him, fire on him. Go. Leech him. Mines on that guy. Wait, no. Yeah, shit. Whenever you click on one of them, it doesn't actually launch the mine on the person. It launches the mine on the ground. That's underneath that person. So you've got to remember that, and I always forget that. you gotta, you got to leave the target. Which makes sense. You're dropping a mine for them to run into, not hitting them with the mine. Come on, Jono, seriously? What the fuck's going on here? Blow him up! There we go, look at that, we got two vehicles with that because the Rex killed one of them. Awesome. Shit, let's get out of there. Stay there. Nice. 
You've success successfully defeated the first wave of attackers. Whew. Sweet. It appears that James Fang has finally graced you with his presence. This is it. If you defeat him now, the blue R99X chip will be yours. Murder, death, kill. I think this is our first boss fight. Yes. So this is our absolute first boss fight. Let's get him stunned. Shoot him with the railgun right away. Let's get a leech drone on him just to start a constant dampening of health. And I'm going to get my rockets just to start firing him. So he has a lot. He has four dumb fires. The ones that give big exclamation points all over. He has four of those. Also has some minions here. So I'm going to move up. We're going to get away from the convoy. And I'm actually going to focus on his vehicles. I'm going to keep stunning him. Because you don't want him to launch his dumb fires. Now I'm not he is going to eventually launch them, which you know I, I expect. But we gotta get out there you go. He's firing one. He can fire them like all at the same time, so that's kind of scary. We have to get out of the way though. Of um we have to finish off his eagle. They won't keep responding or anything like that. So we really gotta focus on just destroying all of his minions. There's also a lethal thing coming up here. I did get hit with all those missiles. Whoops, that's okay. Here we go. No, 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 buddy. And he's down. Nice. One kill there. Holy shit! <gasps> Our MCV's about to go down! I didn't even realize! Back off, everyone back off right now. Oh no! We're gonna lose the MCV in a sec. Holy shit, we're about to lose the MCV. And we're about to lose our vehicle. Hey. Move, move! Fuck, we just lost Rhiannon. We lost both our vehicles down there. Oh no! I think this is it. I wasn't ready. I got too cocky. Lock that gun, lock that gun! Shit, 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 that was too cocky! We're gonna lose. We're gonna fucking lose! Even if we don't lose, I mean, we just lost all of our main fucking vehicles, I mean... I don't know. I mean, well, no, actually, we technically we didn't lose any of our main vehicles. We only have our main vehicles left, which is the funny thing. We're gonna win. We won. We just won. I got Roughneck Rampage. We just fucking wiped two of our vehicles, though. Shit, and one of our best ones, too. We, all, we lost our, bur our worst and best vehicle right there. The entire warband of James Fay lies in ruins, and you finally managed to acquire your prize. The blue R99X chip, which was used to operate most of the systems on James Fay James Fay's engines of destruction. Digging through all the destroyed wrecks, you managed to recover 70 scrap and 27 fuel. Victory. Yeah, not really. You safely stashed the blue chip into your cargo bay and prepare to head out. Put the hammer down. Fuck. Our MCV is just wrecked to hell. We've got to get to a camp, like, right now. If we get in, i got to escape anything we go into, or we'll lose. Uh, privateer, supercharge. Yeah, bye. Sorry, guys. Not right now. We're in fucking trouble. Can't play tonight. What really sucks is that we lost two vehicles. I don't know if we'll be able to beat the last boss with two vehicles. Unless we get something out. Hopefully we get new vehicles. I'll keep that just in case. Maybe it, fucking hell, man. That sucks! Oh, man. Uh, where, what do you guys want? We got 50 fuel. I don't think so. Privateers are demanding fuel. No. I don't even, like, see, because we're just so weak now, I don't know if we'll be able to beat most of these fights. I mean, there we go, we got one guy. But it's like, we don't have as much anymore to, like, block people. We're gonna win this fight, but still, I wonder if we're gonna take some of the damage either. We really didn't take that much damage, but this was like a relatively weak fight. They didn't have any dumb fires or anything like that. 
Not that dumb fires really are strong or anything, but they're not weak. There we go. Ten fuel, sixty-four scrap. Let's get out of here. Oh man, that was just. I'm gonna repair real quick while we're here. Why not? Oh man, I don't know. This, I don't know. We might have to start a new run after this. I mean, shit, it's not looking too good for us, guys. I think the end of this run is near. It sucks because like I was like, oh, we're doing so good at the beginning of this, or like last time. Now we're fucked. So anyway, guys, I guess next time we'll go ahead and check out that radio beacon because that will be it for today's survival. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.